Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Morris Plays. Let's play of Animal Crossing New Leaf, and it's a pretty dull day. I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain, or it has been raining. Um, but we've got a few things to do today. We've got to check out our bamboo and our persimmon tree, see how they are coming. Check in with Cyrus to see if he's built us a gold item. And we've got some paths to lay and things like that. And we are gonna finish up by inviting Stitches to our town. Finally, uh, Stitches was the most voted character to invite into the town. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. So our persimmon tree is growing. Yes. Okay. So when we get some more, um, we should be able to plant a second and third persimmon tree along here. I think it's quite nice just to have some trees that go along the kind of cliff top there. Um, I, I think maybe we could do that with some other fruit trees as well. Okay. So the persimmon tree is okay. Uh, we'll just grab this fossil and or gyroid. Uh, look, I dug up a fossil, so it looks like we might actually have some gyros today, because it was raining the other day as well, but uh, we might have found them all. Is anyone visiting the plaza? No! Okay, so we don't have any visitors at the plaza. We haven't seen Crazy Red in a little while. Cece, hey! We haven't spoken to you in a little while, actually. Hey, Mori, I've seen you around, but we haven't talked in a while, have we? Uh, n no. Hiya, Mori. What's going on? Stay fresh. Talk to me. I think I'm a pretty great dancer, but I need some new moves. Stay fresh. Uh, what new moves? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to learn how to dance like a fish. That will give me new wiggle moves. Stay fresh. Okay, so random, CC. Okay, let's check out our bamboo. Yeah, look at the bamboo grow. How fast is that? Again, we should have... Uh, be able to buy some more bamboo and put another couple of bamboos just in here. I think that looks quite good with the rock and this kind of shrine. Actually, this will tell us what the weather's going to be like. Uh, let's see here. It looks like it's going to continue to be cloudy, doesn't it? Oh. So just cloudy, that's okay. So not much rain then. Okay, so we're going to have a look around these parts. Uh, see if we've got any hybrids. No, our fertilizer didn't work. Why didn't our fertilizer work? Okay, let's go and chat with Cyrus. Hey, Reese. Oh, hello there. Welcome. I'm so excited. What's it going to be? It's going to be a bureau, is that? Or some sort of chest? Oh, Maury. The golden dresser you ordered is all ready to go. It's sitting over there. So go pick it up and take it home ASAP. There we go. We've got a golden... Uh, golden dresser, so we're just going to take this. Take it home, yes please. And we've got three more golden nuggets, so we can give them to Cyrus again to make another one. Yo, Mori, what can I do for you, Squirt? I have a project for you, another project. Oh, a project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Let me see if you've got anything that stands out to me. Oh, you have something good. Can I take a closer look? Yes, here we go. Three golden nuggets. Oh, you managed to dig up a gold nugget. Way to go, Squirt. If you bring me about three of them and 10,000 bells. Oh, I always forget it costs 10,000 bells on top of it. I can make you some golden shiny furniture. Yes, please. As long as it's not another set of drawers. <laughs> All right, Squirt, hand over the three gold nuggets then. Here we go. Be careful with them. All right, then leave the rest to me. I'll, it'll take about 30 minutes, so uh, kill some time, come back later. Oh, we will. We've got plenty to do today. Ooh, you buying some new stuff. Oh. I don't think I can resist the rice plant bed. So tempting. What should I do? Go for it. It's been sat here a while, to be fair. Yep, yep. It's all about having that momentum to make decisions. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this item. Okay. Hmm, not bad deal. Well done. Thank you. Come again. Okay, so we need to lay some paths as well um, to line up the bridges. So a path should continue through here. Uh, all the way over to the bridge. We moved some trees and I did move the bridge uh, down a couple of tiles. So we should be in line now. So it should come across here to this one. And we should be able to line straight up with the bridge. Uh, I'm a sucker for, like, parallel roads, I guess. Okay, so let's see here. So we'll get the design app up, I guess. And we'll go ahead and quickly... Oh, what's it doing? Oh, no. I could have sworn we must be standing slightly wrong. We'll 
try again. There we go. If you get the angle ever so slightly wrong, it does the tiles in a different order. So weird. Okay, so this is... We've got the, the hang of this, really. So we're getting pretty quick at laying these tiles. So one on the bottom, three on the top, and then it does the one either side. There we go. Make sure we're standing forwards. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that's going to work. There we go. Once we've got the paths down, we can start laying bushes and flowers and really start... What has it gone? What has it gone down a tile? Let's try that one again. There we go. Um, we can really start uh, planting flowers as well, which is really exciting. Because at the moment, we've just kind of got random bunches of different sets or different types of flower. We can really start laying them out once we've got the path down. Get rid of that one. There we go. Nearly done. So we need a clear one to the top left. There we go. I still haven't found any other um, kind of paths that I like. I, I really want to find kind of a, at least before the summer, I really want to find like a, quite a summery path. Um, and then we just need some corners up there. There we go. Oh no! I was not paying attention. Need corners on that side, but we need some blank ones in this side. There we go. Okay, so the path is joined up, so we can go all the way from this bridge now. All the way. Nice straight path up to this bridge. I don't know whether a straight path is a good thing to have or not. Um, it keeps things neat, I think. Right, we've also got some bushes, so maybe we should go and get some more bushes. So let's head up to TNT. Uh, maybe we can buy some more bamboo or persimmon as well. Uh, oh, is it open? Oh, just. Didn't look like it was open for a second. I should probably check what time TNT Emporium opens because it's quite early in the morning. Okay, what do we got today? Another persimmon. We're going to take it. Uh, the price is, um, that's right, 1,000 bells. I forgot how expensive they are. That's okay. We want to get them grown. Uh, let's see here. Sapling. Yeah, we're going to take them all because we need to start planting some neat, decent trees as well. White azalea. Azalea is probably one of my favorite bushes, I think. So that's nice. Uh, sweet olive shoot. We'll take it. We were going to buy it anyway. Who are we kidding? Okay, I don't know whether we should start buying flowers. We've got quite a few in the storage. Um... Okay, that should do for the moment. Thank you for visiting, come again. Okay, still undecided whether we should get a haircut. <laughs> um, okay, so, where should we go? We should go and plant the bushes first and then head to see Stitches, I think. And we should probably check the beach because we haven't seen a wandering character or anyone at the plaza. So that may suggest that Gulliver's in town. Um, okay, we also need to decide where we're going to put our path that's coming up from here. We might have to move this house. Or is this Lobo's house? We're going to have to kick Lobo out. We're going to have to kick Lobo out. I think Lobo once said they wanted to move anyway. Uh, but we need to move our path up from the tree, up this way, so it's going to go here. Eventually, so we might as well just, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I wish there was a way to lock these tiles. Hopefully, in, the f in a future Animal Crossing game, hopefully they add that feature because this is an issue in New Horizons as well. Uh, you go to pick something up or you're busy doing something else, you button mash or something, accidentally clear the tiles. There we go. It'd be good if you could stand there and like hold B 
or something and it would lock it. Okay, so the path is... Yeah, it's a shame we haven't lined it up with a tree. Maybe we could do like a three path, a three width path, maybe? That might be a good idea. But first, we're gonna have to kick Lobo out um, using stitches, so that's good. But we've got some bushes, so we need a cedar tree. Okay, so what are we gonna do with the trees? Tex, you're looking suspicious, man. Okay, I'm thinking... We're going to need a cedar tree here. And eventually here as well. Okay, maybe we could... Where could we put the bushes? Maybe a start... Seeing if we can get some bushes to grow here. I can't imagine we're going to get a... We don't really want to put a tree here, actually, because it will block the board. So I think we could probably settle for some bushes here. Plant that one. There we go. It's easier to see what it's going to look like once the bushes are fully grown, but for now I think that's okay. Um, now, do bushes grow next to houses? This could be a good test, because it would be really nice to have, like, a bush next to the house. But I don't think they're going to grow, are they? Um, do we waste a bush and do a test? Or maybe I should do some more research before wasting a bush. Um, okay. There we go. I feel like we could put a bush here. And we have another tree that we can place down. Um, I think we're going to stick, keep that area kind of uh, for bamboo. Yeah, okay, we could put a tree, we could put a tree here. Mixing it up a little bit. It's about this point in the map where kind of the cedar trees start turning into the hardwood tree. So I think it's quite nice to have a bit of an area where you kind of mix in the two types of trees. Okay, so, oh, we need to plant up a simon tree and then we'll get to stitches. Lobo, we better talk to you before we kick you out. <laughs> oh, Maury, it's been a while since I've seen you. Yes, it's going to be a little while longer as well. You haven't been hiding from me off doing or doing something fun all by yourself, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe we have. Maybe we have. Okay, so let's plant our second persimmon tree. Put the gold dresser there so we don't accidentally sell it. <laughs> uh, let's head over here. I think there might be some fossils over here. If I remember. Oh, Cece, hey! Say, I was just thinking, don't you think Moriland would be five million times better with a stone tablet? For sure, right? I'll tell Isabel so you two can make the latest dream come true. Oh, yay! Another public works project. That's what we want. They're sort of the things we're working towards now. We've got, like, uh, events to look forward to, public works projects to kind of unlock and various you know uh, furniture items that kind of only unlock as you progress in the game like grace's furniture for example and of course design the entire town so there's still loads to do in new leaf oh here we go here's a fossil okay oh hey half Feeding the birds. Hey there, how can I help you? Uh, what is this place? Did we say hey, half? Half? Oh, you mean, well, hey, right back at your friend. Wait, how do we know each other? Is my old noodle really getting that soggy? Oh, bother. Do you ever get the feeling everyone's going way too fast? Me, I like to stop and smell the vegan burrito every once in a while, you know? Oh, I want to feed the birds. Hey there, how can I help you? Uh, what can I do here? It's more like what you can't do. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, I'm s sorry. Just a little camp host humor. Let's see now. I can tell you about ordering furniture or give you some more info about meow coupons. 
No, never mind. Okie dokie, see you around. I was hoping you were going to give me some beans. Hey there, how can I help you? What is this place? Well, this lovely spot is a campground where uh, we welcome all kinds here from RVs to fifth wheels. Everyone's super friendly, so don't be shy about poking your head in a trailer and saying hello. Some folks even have stuff to sell in their vehicles. Really neat stuff you can't find anywhere else. So be sure to bring plenty of meow coupons with you when you visit. You hear? Okay, but can I not... I could have sworn half gave you beans. Never mind. All right, friend. Have a nice day. Remember, pack it in, pack it out. That's a shame. I could have sworn there was a way to get beans from Harv. Okay, let's go see Stitches. Hey, Stitches. We see this camper all too often, this design. Okay, before we invite you, we have to make you jump. I do feel bad making uh, Stitches jump because... He's cute. Move. There we go. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? Let's talk. Smell that. I know that smell like the back of my ankles sniffing. Ladies and gents, we've got a shrimp tempura in the area. Be on the lookout. Oh, wait. I know why it smells like shrimp, temp uh, shrimp tempura. That's what I was just eating. Okay. Huh, did you say something? Yeah, you should move here, Stitches. What? That's an awesome idea. Actually, I was just thinking about how much I like to eat. And the food here is super delicious. It just tastes better, you know. Enough chat. I've got to start prepping for my move. Oh, no. We've got a spare space, which means we can't kick Lobo out yet. Okay, we're going to have to move someone else in. Purposely to kick Lobo out. <laughs> Okay, Stitches, are you just going to chill here till you move in? Ah oh, man, tomorrow I'm going all the way back home to pack for my big move. Normally I just say forget it, but I've got to tell my friends I'm leaving. But oh, I just remembered. When I get back, we can hang out all the time, Stuffin. Okay, I can't wait for you to move in. Okay. Okay, we'll try one more time to get some beans. Harv, give us some beans. Hey there, how can I help you? Hey, you have. Have? Oh, you mean, hey, right back at your friend. Wait, how do we know each other? Is my old noodle really that soggy? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Oh, here we go. Watch the birds flittering to and fro. Mind where you're standing, though. That's right where uh, nature calls. Oh, okay. Maybe if we talk again using the hey, have. Half. Oh, you mean me? Well, hey, you're right back at you, friend. Do you ever get the feeling everyone's going, yeah, oh. I thought if we did like three times, he may give us some beans. Okay, well, have fun feeding the birds. Maybe he feeds the birds different kinds of things and they weren't actually beans. I don't know. Uh, okay, look, I dug on fossils. So that four fossils now we've got. There we go. Actually, I'm going to leave that up there. Awesome. Okay, so I think that's probably all the fossils, unless we come across one that we've forgotten, or a gyroid or something. Uh, I just realised, I don't remember who it was, but someone's moved out from here. Why are our villagers leaving? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When Stitches moves in, it'll be 10. So the next person we invite will kick out... Um, We'll kick out uh, Lobo, hopefully. Okay, so let's do some harvesting because we've got a big debt to pay off and we want to buy some of um, Gracie's furniture. So we've started collecting the princess set, so hopefully there's more princess furniture there. Um, and at the end of the last episode, I also put in the Princess Kuro item, which we got, which was our last item from the last fashion um, test. And that is the 300,000 bells item from Gracie Grace. So we got it for free from Gracie. So that was super lucky. Okay, we're just going to pick all the exotic fruit, I think, and see how much money we can get. I think we need to move these trees as well. I'm thinking somewhere where we can line them out in a line because it's quite hard to see all the... Like when they drop behind each other. And we kind of need to optimize how many fruits or how many fruit trees there are. Because we don't need four 
four trees, because then you get three too many. So we kind of need three trees of each. Right, we're trying to collect all these up. No, my pockets are too full! It's a shame we can't stack the fossils. There we go. It's quite hard to... Yeah, I don't like harvesting fruit this way, actually. Or maybe we just need to leave bigger gaps. Okay, I think that's all of it. Um, actually, we planted another lemon tree somewhere, didn't we? Where did we plant the lemon, other lemon tree? Swarm, we planted another lemon tree. <laughs> Maybe it didn't grow. Okay, we've got some pear trees though, so we can harvest those as well. But they're all the way up here. Yeah, I think we... Actually, I want to kind of put more cedar trees in this area. Move all the fruit trees down, I think. That sounds like a better idea. Grab these. Takes quite a while to harvest the trees. Uh, there's also not much to say about harvesting fruit. It's a little bit tedious, especially when they're so far away from retail. So I definitely think it would be a good idea to move these. So maybe we should keep three of each so we can replant them. I think that would be a good idea. So we've got three of those, three of those. Three of those, three of those. So we've got pears, mangoes. So we just need... Right, we're just going to... There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think that's good. Right, before we forget, we're going to chop these trees down. Bye bye, trees. Oh, our axe is breaking already. Okay, these all need to go in favour of cedar trees. It's something, it's a, an attention to detail I really like is having all the cedar trees to the north of town and moving all the hardwood trees. There we go, to the south. Our axe is nearly broken. Is there any more hard trees we need to get rid of? I think this one. Oh no! Our axe broke! quickly get rid of these stumps and then we can go and sell the fruit. Why 
have I not got enough? Mm, oh, it was a bell. I never realized how much of an issue these the pocket space storage is in New Leaf. There we go. I don't know why they didn't automatically stack the fruit. That seems crazy to me. Okay, it's looking very bare up here. I don't think Dizzy's going to be too happy. Dizzy moved into a little forest and is now in the openness. Okay, actually we could probably plant some while we're here. So, I, I've just realised why on earth... Oh no, wait, because we're planting cedar trees. That's okay. I was about to say, why did I dig up the um, pear trees? But it's because we're moving them in a line, but down the south. I can't believe I just literally forgot that when that was the plan that we just thought up. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and sell these fruit before I forget anything else. Oh, hey! Yo, Mori! You look a lot fitter. Uh-huh. Looks like your training is paying off. I was hoping to inspire someone today, so I'm glad it could be you. Oh, no problem. I think. Oh, hello there. Welcome. Hello. Yes, can I help you? I want to sell, please. You want to sell something, do you? What did you bring in? Just a whole bunch of fruit. But we want to keep those, 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 those and those. Yeah. So not as much as we could get, but that's because we need to replant them. So 13,000, that's okay. It's not the best. But we need a new axe. No. Thank you. So I guess we'll have to continue this tomorrow because we're pretty much out of time. But we're going to have to cut all these trees down here and cut all these trees down here. See if we've got any spare cedar trees from the storage to replant some at the top. Um, and yeah, slowly shift the trees around a bit along with the path, which is really cool. And stitches should move in tomorrow or the next day, so that's really exciting. And by then, hopefully, we've got some more money so we can buy some more Gracie furniture. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for keep watching us. Especially just anyone who tunes in and watches this long. And of course to channel members for allowing me to spend time just to record this. And you know, have go on this journey with you. It's just really awesome. So thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.